Welcome back to another Honkai Impact 3 video. It's your homie Cody GT and in today's video my boys we have some announcements to go over but before we do I want to take just a minute to go ahead and say thank you to everybody that made it out to the live stream last night. It was absolutely lit and I had tons of fun and I truly appreciate it. It was a really good time and I cannot wait to go ahead and do some more live streams with you guys. And with that being said, if you have not already, hit the notification bell to stay notified when I do go live. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content today, go ahead and consider subscribing for more content like this and so much more. We do a lot here on the channel and I would love for you to be able to join the family. But with that being said, my boys, let's go ahead and jump over to the announcements and see what we have going on because uh, we do have a few things that have dropped or going to be dropping, I should say, on the global side of Honkai Impact 3. Now, the first is the focus supply, but I'll get into that in just one moment. I did want to go over a few other things that are going to be coming here. Um, it looks like we have a weekend emergency mission that is going to be coming on the 24th of August. So it looks like we have a task of emergency or of extreme emergency waiting for you. Complete this task within the time period and iChan will reward you with fragments of Wolf Dawn and Miko. So that is really, really cool, especially if you're close to evolving your Miko or Wolf Dawn. You can now go ahead and take advantage of this emergency mission that's going to be coming on the 24th through the 27th of August. And during the event period, complete the Wolf Dawn task resets every day event mission to receive wolf dawn's fragment you can get three of them event missions and rewards reset every morning at four so probably 4 a.m i would assume and captain level requirement 15 or higher so if you're on the cusp of that level 15 go ahead and grind it out so you can participate and so it looks like wolf dawn uh, to be able to obtain those fragments first is going to be through the 24th through the 27th and then to go ahead and get miko's fragments is going to be through the 31st of august through september 3rd and during that event period, you can get three Miko fragments. It looks like every day and it resets at the same time and you have to be 15 or higher to be able to participate in that. So that is pretty cool and a great way to be able to farm your Miko or your Wolf Dawn. Now for me, I'm really trying to get my Miko to uh, triple S rank. I have her at double S rank and to get her to triple S rank takes a lot of fragments. So this is definitely going to help in conjunction with open world and things like that. So uh, and then if you're trying to get your Wolf Dawn evolved, you can go ahead and take advantage of that also. Now we also have, with that being said, a uh, final Homu Fantasy. Uh, so character creation complete. Welcome to the world of final Homu Fantasy. Command the Valkyries to defeat the Homu and forge a new pathway forward. So this is going to be dropping on the 24th as well. And it's going to be here until September 5th. Now there will be two available difficulties for this final Homu Fantasy. Normal difficulty unlocks at Captain level 30. So go ahead and grind it out so you can uh, participate on the normal difficulty. And then hard difficulty unlocks after clearing the normal and reaching Captain level 40. So you have to clear the normal difficulty first and have to be at least Captain level 40. Now captains can participate uh, in final Homu Fantasy to get currency for the co uh, cooperation shop. After collecting a certain amount of currency, captains can use it to exchange for a variety of goods. So that's going to be definitely useful. Uh, use a set amount of time structures to reset Final Homo Fantasy. Uh, time structures will be available as rewards afterwards from daily missions as well as for exchange in the cooperation shop. So this seems to be like an event that you can go ahead and uh, with missions be able to obtain some more of those time structures to participate in the event going on. Now please note this is a classified mission. After clearing classified missions, Back Valkyries and equipment will enter a recovery status that causes them to be unable to enter Final Homu Fantasy Battles for a short time. So that's very interesting and something to go ahead and note and keep in mind. But that's going to be dropping on the 24th as well. And that should be very interesting to go ahead and check out. Now over to the focus supply. That's the wrong one. Over to the focus supply here. Now the Oath of Judah is returning. That's a very exciting for people that do not have the Oath of Judah. This is your chance to go ahead and obtain it. And it looks like we're getting a new weapon, Sheath Blade, as well as a new Stigmata set. So, and that looks to be the anti entropy Band set. Um, so that's very, very exciting and really cool. Now we're gonna go over what this um, Focus Supplies entails as well and go over the weapons and the Stigmata uh, build. So as you can see, the Oath of Judah is gonna be uh, with the updrop rate first, and that's gonna be the 24th through the 27th. And then the sheath blade is going to be the 27th through the 31st and the stigmata throughout the entire time period as always. 
other noted four star weapons that are going to be in here for the dual pistols second second sacred relic uh, for the katanas the third sacred relic and the sheath blade uh, the cannon is going to be the fifth sacred relic and project bunny 19c great sword is going to be the ghost slayer and cross oath of judah so not bad as far as the weapons go second sacred relic decent third sacred relic is uh phenomenal this sacred relic phenomenal project bunny 19c not so much and the ghost slayer not so much so um pretty decent pretty decent when it comes to the four star weapons here um now when it comes to the stigmata set you're also going so you have the tesla band you're also going to have the ekaterina set the schrodinger lear scarlet and isaac newton so when it comes to the stigmatas pretty good the ekaterina set is pretty good um you definitely want to acquire some of those especially if you use miko a lot or um another uh valkyrie that puts out high combos um or high hit count i should say for you know the schrodinger everybody knows about schrodinger top that's definitely one you want to achieve uh the lear scarlet set is pretty phenomenal and the isaac newton uh definitely a good set there as well with the spe uh, specific stigmas that you'd want to get now you can see the percentage for the oath of judah and the uh sheep blade okay so that must be let me see here that must be a typo because it says during weapon up it has the dual pistol most near there as the updrop rate. That's got to be a typo because it's the sheath blade, obviously, because that weapon is not featured. The sheath blade is. So just keep that in mind. That that must be a typo there. And then you can see the updrop rate for the stigmatas right there. So um, really, really interesting. Um, as far as really going in on this one, you probably, again, probably want to save your, uh, your crystals. But if you don't have Oath of Judah, you're definitely going to want to go ahead and obtain Oath of Judah at this time. Be one of one of your best times to go ahead and try and, and get that weapon. So uh, if you don't have Oath of Judah, definitely go in. If you do have Oath of Judah, probably go ahead and save your crystals. Probably save your crystals. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump over to the Sheath Blade. Let's take a look at that first. Um, so let me see here. What is that? I don't know what that is. Why did I press that? <laughs> All right, let's see. So if we go to the Equipment Album and... If we can go ahead and sort this weapon by the rarity. All right. And then if you scroll down just slightly, not too much. Um, let's see. Let's see right here. All right. So if we take a look at the sheep blade, give it one moment to load. There we go. All right. Now, right off the bat, my boys, weapon looks phenomenal. Aesthetically, this weapon looks very badass. So right off the bat, A plus on the looks. Uh, now, if we get into the weapon skill, receives electric charge upon successful ultimate evasion, consumes electric charge to deal 4,000 lightning damage and 4,000 physical damage upon hitting a target for the first time in the next five seconds, cooldown one and a half seconds. So with all that lightning damage being done, and especially on the ultimate evasion, already right off the bat sounds like it's going to be very applicable to lightning empress if you have her available. Now, EM radiation attacks have a 8% chance of paralyzing target and other enemies surrounding it for three seconds. Again, very Lightning Empress S sounds like it's going to be for her. Now, if we look at the applicable characters, um, there you go. As you can see, Lightning Empress and then Shadow Dash as another character you can go ahead and apply this on. Um, but it sounds like it's going to be very, um, very heavy towards Lightning Empress as far as the weapon you want to go ahead and apply uh, this weapon to that Valkyrie uh, just because of the weapon skills and what it brings to the table but other than that you know not too much else you know just lightning damage um, physical damage you know decent buff right there and a chance to go ahead and paralyze albeit a very small chance but you know that is available to you so um, the weapon sounds decent doesn't bring a whole lot to the table definitely can save your crystals on this one it's not going to be meta changing or anything like that it just looks badass and if you have lightning empress it'll be very applicable to her so if you're going for oath of judah and you do pull this weapon and you do have lightning empress you can go ahead and apply it to her uh, but definitely not one you have to go ahead and waste crystals on for sure now if we go over to the stigmatas really quickly and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this set um, if we go ahead and sort it by the rarity again and we're going to flip it here. There you go. Now, up in the top left-hand corner, we're going to go ahead and start with the first one. Uh, should be loading. I think I clicked it. Did I click it? Let me try it again. I do this every time. <laughs> I do this every time. All right, there we go. Uh, so right here, we have Tesla Band, um, the bottom. Increases allies' movement speed by 10% when off the battlefield. Um, not stackable. In combat, increases on lightning damage by 35% and movement speed by 10%. So again, lightning damage movement speed just sounds like it's going to be very applicable to lightning empress uh, this new weapon and this new stigmata set sounds very um, applicable to lightning empress so it sounds like you're going to want to apply it to her 
um, if you pull any of these stigmatas or that weapon in particular. Now if we look over at the Tesla Band Mid, increases allies lightning damage reduction by 15% and lightning damage by 15% when off the battlefield. In combat, increases own direct physical damage reduction by 25%. So it sounds like with this uh, stigma, you would want to go ahead and apply this one to a different Valkyrie other than Lightning Empress because it says uh, when off the battlefield. So when it's not on the battlefield, it's going to increase lightning damage by 15% and reduction of lightning damage being taken by 15%. Um, and that's for all allies. So um, that's going to help buff your Lightning Empress if it's on a different Valkyrie other than her. So you might want to go ahead and look into that. Uh, if I read that correctly, I could be wrong. Uh, and you can comment in the comment section below and let me know if I misinterpreted that. But that's what it sounds like to me. And then the top is increases allies physical damage by 10% when off the battlefield, not stackable. When in combat, increases on physical damage by 15% and attack speed by 20%. So right there, um, doesn't sound like it's too applicable to Lightning Empress, can still be used by her, but it sounds like you could put this on a different Valkyrie as well um, for physical damage. You can get increase of 15% and then attack speed by 20%. Sounds very good for like a Bronya character, especially if it has a slow charge time, uh, you can increase that by 20%. So um, you could definitely apply this to a Bronya character or sounds like just about any other Valkyrie you want to increase the physical damage and attack speed for. So uh, very versatile. Uh, stigma right here that you can go ahead and use if you don't have really any type of four star stigmas That's going to give you a good buff now if we go over to the set skill If you have two of them every basic attack including charge and combo attacks grant one stack of cord charging um, Cool down one second after four stacks of cord charges have been accumulated Unleash chain lightning and clear all charge stacks chain lightning will attack four random targets paralyzing them for five seconds and dealing 600% of attack Lightning damage to the first target. Afterwards, each leap deals 20% less lightning damage to enemies. Chained lightning won't hit the same target more than once. Cool down 15 seconds. So, again, all this lightning damage, all this lightning buff, sounds like it's going to be very applicable to Lightning Empress. Now, uh, if you have three of them, uh, or if you have the full set, I should say, in combat, maximum HP is increased by 20%, and lightning damage is increased by 40%. Lightning damage dealt by Chain Lightning will not be decreased when it jumps between targets. So, very, very good set, I want to say, for Lightning Empress. Uh, Lightning Empress, because it's, it's going to, if I can even English, it's going to increase her maximum HP by 20%, and Lightning damage is increased by 40%. So, if you pull the full set, definitely go ahead and apply it to your Lightning Empress if you do have her available. And then if we go over to applicable characters, again, you can see Lightning Empress, but also Valkyrie Triumph and Valkyrie Chair if you don't have um, Lightning Empress there. So that's something you definitely could go ahead and do as well. And uh, it can still probably work out pretty, pretty good for you. Now, with that being said, my boys, that is the video. If I think you should spend crystals only if you don't have Oath of Judah. Only if you don't have Oath of Judah. If you do have Oath of Judah, save your crystals. Not worth going hard on at all. And there's going to be some great stuff coming here very soon on the global side of Honkai Impact 3. Now, before I go ahead and let you go, my boys, I did forget to mention when I, uh, when we were doing the live stream last night, if you were there, you did see. Um, but if you didn't, if you weren't there, um, I do have the video up, by the way, the full live stream. Um, you can go ahead and check it out on the channel. But I was able to go ahead and pull on the live stream Void Blade, my boys. So I definitely want to go ahead and do a video showcasing this weapon. Um, and I'll do that in a different video, but that was extremely hype did a few multis pulled void blade um, And like I mentioned that live stream is up on the channel so you can go ahead and check out the full live stream um, But make sure again to hit the notification bell to stay notified Sorry about that my boys got interrupted by a phone call per usual What I was saying is just go ahead and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I do go live It was tons of fun, and I'm definitely gonna be going live more often it was a really good time, so I want you guys to go ahead and join me on those live streams. We did co-op, um, we did some multis, uh, we did some single stages, saw the dormitory. We did it all on that live stream, um, and so you can go ahead and check that out on the channel. Um, but also, if you enjoyed what you saw today, you liked the video, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel, you enjoyed what you saw, you got something from it, found it slightly informative or entertaining. Go ahead and consider subscribing for more content like this and so much more in the future. But anyways, my boys, I'm going to get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out.